Hey folks, and welcome to Pattaya. As the title of the video would indicate, I got a new bike, and right now, today, I'm in a taxi on my way to go pick it up. But this whole story started about a month ago, actually on Halloween day. And I, I was shopping around for new bikes, and I was highly considering a Honda CRF 250. So I I went to the, the Honda dealerships up on Sukhumvit Road in Pattaya, and that's kind of where the story begins. So let's rewind about a month ago, and we'll come right back here in a minute. I don't think they sell anything under 300 cc. Probably next door. Those CRF 250s are in between a model year change. They don't know when they're going to get them in. So we'll just check back. So yeah, that's what they told me. Uh, in between model years, they had not heard any news about the new model years coming. So while I was waiting, I thought, well, let me go across the street to Kawasaki and see what they got. I know they got a KLX 250. That's a direct competitor. Very interested in that as well. But when I got there, they were all out of those as well. But all they had was a KLX 230. So that's the KLX 230, which I'm a little bit leery of because it's not liquid cooled, it's air cooled. I think it might run hotter around town at slow speeds. And the seat felt very hard, the suspension felt harder. Definitely more off road geared, I think, for that. Same price basically as the CRF 250. So just thought I'd take a look at some of the competitors to the uh, CRF 250 because that's what I'm considering. So that's one of them. So with Honda out of stock of theirs and Kawasaki not much help either, I kind of put this whole thing on the back burner. But about 10 days later, just thumbing through Facebook, I saw Honda was introducing a new model. So I came back into the dealership to kind of start all over again. And about a month ago, I did a, I did a test drive on a CRF 250. I'll link it in a video if you want to watch it but anyway I really liked it and for cruising around Pattaya I think it's the perfect bike for me the big touring bike I'm gonna park save it for trips plus the mileage is getting up on that I'll still keep it I'll take it on a trip a couple three four five times a year whatever and I'll have it for that but just to get around as a daily ride I wanted a CRF 250 I think it's brilliant but update they don't make it anymore they stopped making it the last one's already been sold but there's a new one the CRF 300 and take a guess who's getting the first one in <laughs> I don't know if the first one the first batch that come in I'm getting one gave them a deposit already today they'll be in any day today is I think November the 12th so it's going to be about three weeks before I get it and move here first week of December they'll be in they'll have it all ready to go for me I'll come in and pick it up and ride away all you got to do is give them a thousand baht reserve one and it's all ready to go the only thing I'm doing to it is changing the tires to something like this. This is an Africa Twin, and I think that's a more sensible street tire um, for riding around town. I'm getting rid of the knobbies. Um, might even be those exact tires, I'm not sure, 
but something very similar to that. Even this tire from the uh, NC750X, that would be okay. Something like that. Something with still an aggressive tread into a little bit of off-road gravel trail, but I don't need knobbies to be slipping and sliding all over the place uh, going around Pattaya in the wet roads. But that's what's going on. So we'll come back. Once it comes in, we'll take delivery and off I'll go and it'll be a new chapter. So sure enough, actually just a couple days after I was there on the 12th, these, these models started rolling in. And I think they had seven of them due in and of course they slated one for me and put it off to the side and there it is. So I, after I moved in the other day and came up here and it was a long day moving day but they were they were kind of hounding me because they wanted to make sure i was really going to you know pay them the money and come get it because these are kind of a hot commodity right now and i did reserve one so i i despite moving in and and having a long day i came up here rode up here to the honda dealership check it out make sure it was all all good to go and uh, to pay them and start the paperwork, get my license plates and all that. And I'll talk a little bit about that, but they, they basically do all that. There's not much to really talk about. And this young man was doing all the, all the uh, maintenance and setup and getting it all ready for me, but I probably actually wouldn't take it till the next day because I, I rode my other bike up here. I can't ride two bikes back and they were getting ready to close. So I ordered this about a month ago, gave him a deposit. We were here the day I did that. And then today we come in to do the paperwork, pay, you gotta pay for it. You got some paperwork to do for your tags, you gotta show them a residency certificate, your passport. Um, that's basically it. Sign a couple papers. They fill, they fill out the forms for you, just sign a couple papers. And I'll take you back, they're getting it ready right now, they're in the back. They're doing the service, you know, I, I used to call that PDI, pre-delivery uh, inspection, uh, maintenance. Um, but anyway, that's what they're doing. Make sure it's got the fluids in it and all that stuff. I was a little disappointed. My my number is much higher than I thought. I thought it'd be like under 100. It's it's slightly over 500. <laughs> that means it's like the 500 and something one that rolled off the assembly line. Uh, that's still a low number, but I thought since I was one of the first orders in almost a month ago, before they even had received any, mine would be a low number, but just luck of the draw on that, I guess. Ah. So we'll get it serviced, pay the man, and ride out. So yeah, they're, they're uh, clearly getting ready for Christmas in here. They've got the Christmas tree all set up. I thought that was nice. And the red motorcycle parked under it looks nice. That's how they come, just like that. Uh, that one's got a little bits and bobs on it. But anyway, you can pay. The best way to pay is just do a funds transfer from your bank, because it's a large sum of money. Who, who wants to carry all that cash with you? But. This brings us up to the next morning, because like I said, it was late in the day, and I had just had too much day. So uh, I thought we'd get a fresh start in the morning. I took a taxi up here, and that's where we started this video, in the taxi. Now here we are, arriving at Honda, the small shop, the big shop, and we'll go in and get it. say it's a great feeling getting on a brand new bike and rolling out of the dealership i don't know if you saw on the gauges there was actually 0, 0.0 kilometers on the odometer so that would indicate that it hasn't been driven at all so once i got on it there were kind of two things on my mind and i thought i'd head out to the dark side it was a nice morning and 
I think we can get both things accomplished here. First is to get gas, because it's on empty. That's kind of how they come here. Second new bike I've brought uh, bought in Thailand, and both came with about zero gas. So that's got to be one of your first stops. So we'll take care of that, and I think there might be some, some dirty places out here we can do a little riding. So I stopped at the Shell station out here and ordered up a full tank of the, what they call V-Power, which is a, a 95 octane. Now, the, the last thing I asked the, the man at the Honda dealership before I left was, what kind of gas do I put in? Is it the 91 octane or the 95 octane? And I was really surprised when he told me it was a 95 octane. That's what I got. That's what I put in. Now, my owner's manual is completely in Thai. So if if you know, if you, I just thought that I just was expecting 91. It's not exactly a high-performance engine in here, but that's what we got, 95. Let me know if you know otherwise. So after getting gas, yeah, I, I came through the... I came through the construction site. Was that wrong? I mean, this this kind of road here, though. I thought this is a kind of a great test here, and somebody else ahead of me did it, so I didn't take the detour. Um, but anyway, you can see I'll try to try to zoom down here and show you the road is kind of rough, and I can just truck right along here. It really performed like a champ. But beyond this, there's some big wide open areas like this here, and we can really get off road a little bit and. Give it a little test because if something's going to break, I'd rather know right away, first day, if something's going to rattle loose and have a problem, I want to be able to take it right back. So let's go try it out. So I just got to test it, make sure everything's good, make sure everything works. Um, the 300 is compared to the 250 that I test drove before. This one, the, the extra torque really makes a difference between that first and second gear. That was a little bit of an issue on the 250, not on this at all. No, uh, no kind of weird um, second gear lag because it seemed like the first gear was too low. They might have changed the gearing for all I know, I don't know. I think it's the extra torque, it just is more seamless now. So, we'll, uh, we came out here to ride around just to test it, but now I gotta go back into downtown and see my buddy because I don't like red. I, I don't care for red, sorry. I know a lot of people like red, I just don't like red. Um, they only come in one color, red. Well, red, white, a little bit of blue. So, uh, there's a couple other little things that I want. So we'll see if he can take care of us and uh, customize it up and make it kind of the way I want it, personalize it, and then we'll be done. So, all right, I'm going to ride back into town and then we will see when we get there. We've been there before, about a long time ago, about a year ago. Okay. So we're just down here off Soy Bacow, kind of right across from the hospital, and I'm uh, going up here to Masashi Motorbikes. I'm going to see my pal Rudy, and yeah, I, got, I need some bits and bobs for this. I indicated before I wanted to change out the tires, uh, so a lot of things. So there he is. We'll uh, we'll go in and get this sorted out and get this process started here, and and then we'll when that's all done, I'll, I'll show you the finished product. So we started the process, ordering parts. I got to do some things a la carte to save a little bit of money. Uh, instead of getting everything done here, but he's steered me in the right direction. So I gotta start this process and it'll look totally different when we're done. So that'll be a new, that'll be another story. That's it for today. So there you go, brand new Honda CRF 300 L, L model. There is also a rally. I got the L. So how much are they? Well, 148,000 baht is the price. That's out the door. Includes the insurance, first and third party insurance for the first year, registration, tags, title. They do all that. So that comes right out to, let's just say, 
about 5,000 U.S. Um, out the door and, and total. So, except for a tank of gas, you got to put that in yourself. But anyway, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here today. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, yeah.